And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Cities Skylines. All right. I uh, had to recover a little bit. The uh, the game crashed during a save, and uh, it's made me nervous. So I've been saving it often. But, uh, yeah, we lost a little bit. I had to kind of come in here and redo a little bit of this. and So a little bit has changed. I redid the bus lines. Everything is running again. Of course, nobody's on the buses, so there's that. All right. We got power starting to spread here, I think. Uh, I think we could start to get a little bit more. Trying to get power out here a ways. Let's maybe get some more people. I uh, zoned all of this in. It's like this is built up and the band is still pretty high. So, yeah, let's just get some people in over here. It's going to be some busy roads, so let's get some light commercial and then some good residential. Oh, do we want? Oh, we got residential right up. Right up against this road, that shouldn't be too bad. Little, uh, Just a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole block because I'm really trying to get access for people. Oh, you know what I also missed? All of these paths. And what happened with that road? Uh... get that going all right and getting some of these now I could maybe get Uh, a path or something through here somehow. But they could just walk through the tunnel, I guess. Oh, we got some people walking up here. That's good. Uh, all right. One thing we want to do is section out some of this area for... you know, distinct commercial use. So, like, we're going to want some leisure in here. I'm thinking up through here. Basically a, a long sort of, oh, oh, I knew I was going to mess that up. Up right through here. This is really touchy. Cross. And down through here. Why why that that matched the road perfectly. Ah, it was because it was a different kind of road. I see. So let's get the, the finer tool here and just push it right up against this road. And this road here. Oh, we don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. <clears throat> Clear that off. Okay. <clears throat> so that'll be 
like leisure specializations. Uh, let's do that before I forget. Uh, commercial. Organic and local produce. Uh, produces 50% of sold goods locally. Truck traffic in the area is reduced by 50%. Increased electricity and garbage. Wow. Really? So you are going to be leisure. Yes, leisure. Let's do a, <clears throat> a little organic district right in here. I don't want to, I don't want too much. I don't think we're going to need like too much in there. Should we do one on this side too? Hmm. Maybe cut in right here and do one over here as well. Well, I really want to make sure it's 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 covered. So this one and this one. The other one is tourism. Uh, tourism. We could do a little tourism down here. Kind of try to build it around the rail, maybe. So a little bit in here. I'm not going to do too much. Hemlock Square. Ooh, Hemlock. Tourism specialization. Now, are there any, like, unique buildings we could drop in? Driving range? Any ones that are, like, small enough to fit? A fantastic... These are just, like, the absolute worst size for this. Literally one square. One square difference between the two. Like, yeah, one square too wide. Like, it's not really meant for ease of placement, that's for sure. Traffic park. $100,000. Um... Noise production. I don't really care about noise here. And of course, we have the ChirpX launch site. That might go brilliantly in here somewhere. Oh, it could fit right in there. Oh, <laughs> but that is not not a cheap building. Twenty four hundred a week. Ouch. <laughs> Provide public space transport services. Ooh. It actually uses products from our industry areas. That's kind of cool. I think over here might be a good good place for that uh, how about we set it up right here we're gonna build it
Oh yeah. So there's a whole lot of construction that goes into that. Doesn't have any power at the moment. But we can fix that. Let's see, how are we doing on everything here? A lot of people wanting workers. I'm really hoping, really, really hoping that uh, our workers start getting distributed. Uh, we need to increase the amount of residential we've got going on. How's our water doing? Waters. We'll need to upgrade it probably once or twice before this whole thing is zoned in. This is a huge area, like huge. Now to get, let's get some uh, commercial in Sheffield Park here. As far as other districts go, not really sure if, I mean, there's no more specializations that we can hit. We got a nice tourist area. We got leisure, you know, general commercial. It might be wise to maybe maybe build another airport but these things are eight that's eight grand a week that's a huge part of our budget right there we had a bunch of people or a bunch of jobs down here unfilled too See how we're doing. We started zoning yet? Ooh, ooh. These are some unique buildings. I can't read what that says. Burned scan? No, burned bean. That's what that is. Burned bean. Ooh, what's this thing? Ooh. And this is eco something. I can't quite eco eco hostel. It looks like what that says. So that must be like a hotel. It coastal the hostel. Is that low density? Did I zone that low density? No, I zone that high density. Interesting. Healthy weeds. Get some new unique buildings up in here. Soy and lentils, nice. So I'm assuming a lot of this food is going to come from our farm area here. Well, that's that's like, that's not farm. This is farm. Ooh, look at the traffic in here. Yikes. I wonder if I could switch. Because I bet you a lot of these trucks are from these factories trying to deliver flour up here. So I wonder if I swapped that one way. I don't want to, I don't really want to make it a two way. I really don't. Maybe that'll help this situation here. 
Because they'll be able to come up here, turn right, dump their stuff, come in here, turn right, and return to their area. So it's a nice clockwise, nice clockwise system that hopefully, because they should be able to cross this median and, and, you know, turn left out here. Looks like they're not, though. Like, we have lots and lots of stuff. All right. All right, power is starting to filter in. Ever so slowly. Ooh, let's see if there's any more businesses. Dun, dun, dun. What is this? More burned bean coffee. Hey, and a charging station. Free charge EV charging. Nice. <laughs> you charge your electric cars. So, you know, as in real life, there are like seven coffee shops along this along this road. Oh, man, that's funny. I really want to get power to this train station so we can kick that kick that into high gear. And I need to think about how we're going to deliver goods. Cancelled. Yeah, we're 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 we haven't started constructing this thing yet. I really want to see what this looks like. So let's work on getting some access out here. So do we want? Let's get both types of connection over here. So basically, what we're gonna do is let's get well we could do let's get the basics set up first and those are going the wrong direction there we go. That's a little better. Uh, all right. Now that we have those, no zoning on those is needed. Um, I would like a stub of road out here. Let's take... like that now how are we going to connect these up in some way that doesn't look horrible okay so one one issue is we need to we need to drop this down both of these need to be two two lanes I don't want that to turn. I'll 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 adjust that a little in a bit. So this side we're gonna go We can smooth it out later, but I want as much as much uh, uh, bridge as possible there. Now we can now, we can move the pillars now, so we don't really have to worry too much about that. Let's, well, 
Yeah, let's figure out what we're going to do first. Actually, we really don't need we really don't need the pillars. And uh, we'll smooth that out in a second. Okay. So we're going to come way back here. And then I might, do I want to go over with that or under with that? Kind of want to go up and over. Road at, I need to turn road anarchy on so it stops. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be a little iffy. I think we're going to have to go under. Pretty sure this is telling me. Oh, we need to come way back here. Right in here, something like that. Oh man, I linked it up to the wrong thing. Good lord. Good lord. Okay. Let's dial this back a little ways. Highly doubt. Ooh, that just, just barely makes it. Like, just barely. I really don't like how steep that, that angle is right there. So can we adjust that? A little bit more of a graceful curve. We can tighten this up a little bit. A little bit better. Now, this one, this one, this one. Not perfect, but better than it was and then we well, yeah we want to do the same to this so you you and then you oh much better oh that's much better Mo i mean it's it's mostly aesthetics so it doesn't really impact the game at all but it does look a lot better i admit Having a little bit more of a graceful curve there than some steep ramp. Much better. Okay, so that is a nice, nice way in and out 
Uh, yeah, look at that. It, it's almost, it's almost perfect. If I would have been able to go up and over, it, I would have been able to do that if these had been on the ground. But I raised these up just so I could go underneath like that. And doing that from two directions is rather difficult in making it fit. Ooh, we just got a delivery of something. Uh, metals of some kind. Okay, let's get some commercial out to here. Get these powered up. That way people can move and, and do all the things. Hey, look at that. Our buses are actually running on the bus lines. Beautiful. I like it. And uh, just as a precaution. Yeah, it saved it right. Okay, good. Woo. You just you just never know. You never know when the game is going to be like, nope, not anymore. Don't want to do it anymore. So yeah, I'm going to need to I'm going to need to get a little bit of Oh, yeah, we need fire. Uh, we might be able to squeak one in over here. Yeah, we can squeak one in. We got lots of coverage over here already, but we want more local coverage as well. And how about some police? Yeah, we're pretty well covered with that. It's just it's the range of these of these buildings is just crazy. I went I went a little overboard. So yeah, police station right next to the right next to here. You know, keep just remind everybody. Hey, there are uh, there's the law in the area. So behave yourselves. You just behave yourselves. Slowly getting, slowly getting stuff and things over here. Now, I might want to do a cargo over here. That would allow cargo to be delivered. But again, I want to make sure that I do not cross these connections. These are, this line on the left is local traffic. Oh, and that reminds me before I leave the episode. Oh, that actually built back up again. I had <clears throat> I had removed these track just to clear all this up. It looks like it's actually cleared up on its own. And maybe that's what caused the crash or something. I don't know. But uh looks like it's actually running again, which is awesome. Uh, I'm trying to build up I'm trying to build up stuff over here oops yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take you out dude sorry. Oh, I hit V to D zone. That's an old shortcut key. Okay, so we have, looks like we have, we got some workers now. So, you know, we are, we are supplying workers from this little bank up to here. Are we are we doing good on power? All oh, right, power has finally been delivered. We can start running people on the trains. Thank goodness. 
Um, and if you notice, I didn't do the paths on these because we already have the bus lines and they can they can use the bus lines for uh, for walking. Of course, they have to cross the street every time, but these are these are little stubs out here. I'm not going to worry about those at all. All right. Well, we're not going to get a, a rocket launch in this episode, but since it's a manual thing, I'm definitely going to keep that. Once it does build, I'm definitely going to keep that for uh, for an episode, um, so I can get that on camera because I've never seen it, and I'd like to see it for the first time uh, on camera because you know that way I can react appropriately or ecstatically, whichever comes first. But that's going to have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.